Hi everyone, my name is Carmen Franzak. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer for Friendship Village Senior Services, and I'm happy to be with you today to talk about Life Care Explained. One of the best things about living at Friendship Village is that we are a faith-based community. We are guided by biblical principles that honor Jesus Christ, provide a loving, warm, gracious, and secure environment where all experience physical, spiritual, and emotional care. Our vision is to be an excellent resource in all aspects of senior living, supporting mind, body, and spirit. Our core values include our faithful service, compassionate care, excellent teamwork, respectful community, and joyful living. In independent living, we have 456 residences. That includes our apartments and villas, and we currently have 501 residents living in independent living. 90% of our independent living residents have the life care contract and the other 10% are on a rental contract. So what is life care? Life care is a plan for your future health care needs at a predictable rate. It's a guarantee you'll receive the care you need, where you want to receive it, and how you want to receive it. It's a way for you to preserve your assets in a state plan it's a form of long-term care insurance to have access to all levels of care for your independent living fee. It's also a smart choice to meet your health care and financial future. So how do we explain the concept of life care to our prospective residents? One of the ways that we do that is through this video. Life care is a contract which secures a lifetime of health care, but paid for at current rates. Any change to your level of care, should it ever be necessary, won't affect your monthly fee. Let's look at an example scenario and see how life care is working for a couple of our residents. Frank and Evelyn live in a lovely Friendship Village community apartment, paying a monthly fee for the comprehensive services they enjoy. Now, suppose Frank's health changes and they decide it is best for him to move to an assisted living or skilled nursing residence. Luckily, both are conveniently located on the Friendship Village campus. Because Friendship Village is fully equipped to provide every level of care on the same campus, Frank can reside in assisted living, while Evelyn is welcome to remain in their independent living apartment, just a short walk away. They are living in separate accommodations, but Frank is nearby, receiving the additional health care he needs. And, despite Frank's extra needs, they continue to pay the same steady monthly fee they've paid all along even while occupying residences in two different levels of care. Frank, Evelyn, and their family can rest easy knowing Friendship Village is here to help with whatever life brings. It's as simple as that. So what are some important life care facts to know? A resident must qualify by meeting age, medical, and financial requirements. There are different contract types. Those include a traditional contract or 0% return of capital, a 50% return of capital, and a 90% return of capital. The only difference is the refundability in the contract. Life care starts on the first day of occupancy and or when the entrance fee balance has been paid. There is an entrance fee and a monthly fee. Couples pay first person and second person. There are some considerations you should know about your life care contract. First, there are different versions of the life care contract depending on when you moved into Friendship Village. Second, there are some residents here who have a life care contract but have a health care exclusion addendum. This is due to them having a certain health condition or health diagnosis, and the addendum usually lasts for two to three years, again, depending on their contract. So what is the sales process with our prospective residents? Our process includes educating, reviewing, and selling off of the contract. Our prospects are encouraged to have family members, attorneys, and or financial advisors review the contract. Every prospect receives a copy of the Friendship Village Financial Disclosure. This is what makes the contract an executed contract. The sales team meets with prospects an average of seven times before this contract is ever signed. Every contract is approved and signed by the executive director. What services are included in your life care contract? Those include your complimentary breakfast, one meal per day or depending on what meal plan you've chosen, 
housekeeping every other week, flat linen service every week, 24-hour security, our daily resident check-in program, our urgent assist system in your residence, scheduled transportation to activities, all your utilities, internet service, local and long distance phone service, cable TV, total maintenance, our concierge service, and our campus-wide shuttle. Your life care contract in Section 1 also includes our contractual promise to you for unlimited days of assisted living and memory care, as well as skilled nursing and rehab. However, if you moved into Friendship Village prior to 2011, you need to check your specific contract as well as if you have an addendum for those services. So what's not included in your life care contract? The things that are not included include the two extra meals provided to you in assisted living and memory care and skilled nursing and rehab, ancillary charges such as your medications and supplies, any guest meals, private transportation, guest accommodations, or things like extra housekeeping. And finally, any extra services such as private duty or supportive services delivered to you by FE at Home. So your contract, if you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to ask. Please see the residency and sales team, and we are happy to talk with you about your specific contract, your specific situation, and any questions that you have. Hi, I'm Amy Meek. I am the care navigator for Friendship Village. My main role as a care navigator is to ensure our residents have the highest quality of life. I assist with making referrals when needed and to improve the overall health and wellness of our residents. I assist with the coordination of supportive services such as FV at Home Supportive Services and FV at Home Home Health. These two services will be explained later. I work with families and our residents to coordinate care transitions when there is a need for a higher level of care. These transitions occur between assisted living, assisted living memory care, and skilled nursing known as our care center. As a care navigator, I follow up with residents regarding security reports and unusual occurrences. For example, if someone is a repeat faller, I will refer them to our therapy department. If someone is feeling ill, I will visit them in their apartment. I perform new resident assessments on all residents prior to moving in to ensure they are appropriate for independent living. I also assist residents on where to purchase appropriate medical supplies and make recommendations as necessary. Here at Friendship Village, we have our own Mercy Clinic on campus. I work closely with the nurse practitioner and refer people as necessary. The clinic can treat colds, flu, nausea, urinary tract infections, diabetes, high blood pressure, and a variety of other things. They also perform a variety of injections and vaccines. Please call our clinic at 7213 for more information and to verify your insurance coverage. A lot of our residents here at Friendship Village have concerns with falls. Security can guide and offer handheld assistance but cannot pick you up. If you are still unable to get up, security will call the fire department and request a lift assist. Please call security for any non-life-threatening emergency at 270-7888. Security will assist with calling an ambulance and guide them to your apartment. If someone else has taken you to the hospital, please call our security or the receptionist to make them aware that you're at the hospital. Our hospital liaisons will follow your care while at the hospital and coordinate your discharge while communicating with me. If you discharge to the care center, I will follow your progress while in the care center to ensure it is safe and appropriate to return to independent living. If necessary, I will refer residents to our supportive services department for any additional care needed to be successful in independent living. If you have any further questions, please feel free to call me, Amy Meek, at 270-7857. As you know, we have FV at Home by Friendship Village. 
Effie at Home really has two components. We have the Medicare Home Health side and we have the private duty or supportive services side. You're going to hear about Medicare Home Health from Janie Sands, and then you'll hear about private duty or supportive services from Sharon Nunn. Hi, my name is Janie Sands. I'm the administrator of the home health care company here at Friendship Village. So let me tell you a little bit about Friendship Village Home Health Care. It is covered under Medicare and Medicare Advantage plans at 100%. It is essence approved with a physician authorization. You must be homebound and need a skilled care such as nursing services, physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Here are a few things that our nurses can do for you. Our nurse, nursing services can consist of taking care of skin tears, any type of wound care or dressing changes, medication setup and education, disease specific assessments and education such as COPD and emphysema, congestive heart failure, hypertension and diabetes, uh, any issues with recent infection, urinary tract infection or pneumonia, help with a new or revised ostomy, and Foley catheter care and assessment. We have many therapy services as well to offer. Our therapy services consist of following orthopedic surgery or procedures, any recent or frequent falls in the home, generalized weakness following a hospitalization, any recent TIAs or CVAs or strokes, swallowing or speech changes. And more about what Friendship Village Home Health Care can do for you. We can submit our services for a duration of four to six weeks or longer, depending on the skilled need. The intake coordinator contacts your physician to obtain the order. The nurse or therapist contacts you to schedule their visits. You participate in developing your plan of care. Nursing and therapy staff communicate routinely with your physician. You participate in your discharge planning, and at the time of your discharge, we make sure you have any other services you may need in place, such as supportive services through FV at Home. So thank you for listening today, and if you have any more questions about Friendship Village at Home Home Health Care, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Hi, I'm Sharon Nunn with the FE at Home Supportive Service and Private Duty. The goal of our services is to provide you with um, individualized care to help you maintain your independence and stay in your residence safely um, by, by providing certain services. The common question is how do I get set up for supportive services and private duty? You or your loved one can contact me, Sharon Nunn, at extension 7318 from your apartment or 314-270-7318 from a cell phone or landline. I will come to the apartment to talk with you about the services that you're interested in. We will discuss the type of services, supportive services versus private duty, and the number of hours and the type of tasks needed. There are consent forms that need to be signed prior to the start of service. A one month payment is required at the time of signing the forms. For private duty, a two week, two week payment is needed. If you stop services before your start, start at time, you will be refunded any unused money. You can stop services at any time. We have a variety of per visit services. We have AM and PM care, medication management and reminders, wellness checks, escorts to meals and activities, assist with showers or bathing, meal preparation, laundry, and many, many more services. If you desire to have multiple services, we have bundled packages at discounted rates. Services can start as early as 7 a.m. and end as late as 9.30 p.m. Services can be reached after hours, 5 p.m. or later, as well as weekends for emergencies at calling 314-341-4437. Private duty services are available. Private duty is when a caregiver is in the home from four to 24 hours per day. 
And some of the duties performed include light housekeeping, bathing shower assistance, toileting and hygiene, laundry, medication reminders, transport to doctor's appointments, and shopping. Thank you very much for listening, and please contact me at the numbers provided, and I will be happy to discuss services with you. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Summers and I am the administrator at Friendship Village Assisted Living and Memory Care. Today I'm going to talk to you about Assisted Living and Memory Care. Friendship Village Assisted Living and Memory Care, or formerly known as Fountain View, opened its doors in April of 2004. We had 61 private apartments which consist of studio, one bedroom, and two bedroom floor plans. We have a main dining room, which also has a private dining room off to the side, a library, our own beauty salon, activity room, spacious family areas, and the most important, 24-hour nursing oversight. We have outside balconies on each floor that the residents can enjoy the weather. In 2013, we added our first memory care neighborhood, which was located on our south hall on the third floor. And most recently, in 2020, we opened our new memory care neighborhood, which includes 15 private suites for a total of 76 apartments. So what is assisted living? I like to refer to assisted living as the best of both worlds. You have your independence with personal support services. Assisted living communities provide help with activities of daily living, or referred to as ADLs. Those ADLs consist of help with showering or dressing, medication management, which includes diabetes management, meal preparation, one person transfer assistance, meaning we can help you transfer from your bed to your walker or wheelchair or out of a chair. And then, of course, our memory care services. So I often get asked, what is the difference between independent living and assisted living? Not only is the difference that we have the staff licensed 24-7 to help you with those activities of daily living, but we are licensed and regulated by the state of Missouri. When we have our annual survey, the inspectors come to look at our life safety and pathway to safety protocols. They look at food safety, infection control, and our nursing plans of care and then of course our wellness and socialization programming. Your care is directed by your primary care physician or our medical director, Dr. Brosh. So everything we do is guided or ordered by you and your doctor. Those things include your medications, labs, and therapy. So being licensed by the Department of Health and Senior Services means that there are requirements. The requirements for assisted living uh, are that we have to make sure that our residents are free of active tuberculosis and all communicable diseases, that they are in sufficient health, not requiring skilled services, their behaviors don't pose a threat to yourself or others, and they don't require any chemical or physical restraints. Another very important regulation is that our residents have to meet what's called a pathway to safety, meaning in case of a uh, emergency, residents can um, evacuate their apartment and get to an area of safety in a timely manner. We talked about transferring independently and also uh, residents should be able to manage any type of bowel incontinence. So what's included in your monthly fee once you transition to assisted living? On staff we have 24-hour licensed nursing oversight, meaning there's always a licensed nurse in the building medical care coordination between you, your family, and your primary care physician, assistance with the ADLs that we spoke of earlier, the help with your showers and dressing, daily bed making, your medication management, general wound care, help with oxygen, wellness checks, weekly housekeeping, weekly laundry of your flat linens and towels, all your utilities, cable, telephone, life enrichment services, three meals daily in our main dining room, and our church services. 
So we do also provide additional services at an additional cost to you, and those things would include laboratory or radiology services. We do have uh, companies that we partner with that will come to assisted living and um, take care of any orders that the doctor has given us. That way you don't have to leave the building to go get those done somewhere else. We also have therapy services. So we would get that order from your physician for any kind of occupational, physical, or speech therapy. And the team here would come down to assisted living and work with you in your apartment or out in the common areas in the building. We also have a podiatrist, Dr. Norlin, that comes to our building on a regular basis. And then we also partner with uh, pharmacies to provide medications um, that the state regulates us to package and deliver in a particular manner. Also, um, at an extra fee is our beauty salon, which would be on uh, your statement at the end of the month. And then we also have personal laundry services. Um, if you choose for Friendship Village to do your laundry, we would be happy to do so. Or your family can come and do your laundry as well. It's totally up to you. We also have an incontinence care program. So this is for someone that needs a little bit more assistance in managing any type of um, bladder incontinence. And so our team would be able to come into your apartment on a regular basis and help you out with that. And again, that would be on your statement at the end of the month. So what we offer in our assisted living building sets us apart from other communities. With the opening of our memory care neighborhood this year, we created three levels of care within assisted living. We have our traditional assisted living area, but we also have two designated memory care neighborhood areas. So the first of our memory care neighborhoods is our bridge neighborhood. This neighborhood consists of 10 private apartments where we provide additional oversight and attention for those with early stage cognitive impairment. The residents living here receive all of the assisted living services that we went over previously, plus they have a dedicated nursing aid for this neighborhood which provides consistency with the care. There's a caregiver to resident ratio of 1 to 10 both day and night. The staff there help with additional apartment upkeep. We do apartment checks every two hours, escorts to meals, activities, the beauty salon, whenever needed. We have uh, specific life enrichment activities that take place in the Bridge neighborhood and assistance in the, the main dining room. Also in this area, we do have secured doors if needed. So our most recent addition to our assisted living building is our brand new memory care neighborhood. This is a complete memory care environment and program which consists of 15 private suites. We have specially designed secured spaces promoting interaction and engagement with our residents. The apartments are designed with dementia residents in mind so they are not so overwhelming for the resident to navigate. We also have a specialized quiet room available with soothing music and aromatherapy tapping in on all their sensories. We have an added piece of technology to our memory care neighborhood which is called IN2L or It's Never Too Late. This piece of innovative technology allows the resident to remain engaged and connected with the world around them. Also, we have a dedicated team of caregivers to provide the care for our residents in this neighborhood. Our caregiver to resident ratio is one to five during the day and one to eight overnight. Another thing, and quite frankly, the most exciting thing that sets us apart from any other memory care neighborhood in the community is our programming. The staff and caregivers are trained and certified through CARD, the Centers for Applied Research in Dementia. We've teamed up with this organization so our staff can be trained in the Montessori Inspired Lifestyle Program. This is a person-centered model of care. It focuses on each resident's abilities versus their disability. It takes a look at who they are, where they have been in their life, and how we can tap in 
to their uh, strengths versus their weaknesses. It allows the resident to be engaged and serve a purpose in their community. Our full-time memory care director and our life enrichment assistant play a pivotal role in this program. So who can join us in assisted living? Well, basically anyone that qualifies. Our life care residents, those are residents that have assisted living in their contract or they added the addendum. They will continue to pay their current monthly rate that they're paying in their independent living apartment or villa. They're comparable to a one bedroom standard apartment but they also have the choice to upgrade to a larger apartment if an additional, um, add an additional fee. Our private pay residents, those are our residents that don't have assisted living in their life care contract or those that live out in the greater community. And these individuals will pay our private pay rates. Finally, I often get asked, well, how do I move to assisted living? What's the process? First of all, I would have you discuss with your family, or you could discuss with Amy Meek, our care navigator. You also could call our assisted living specialist for a tour. Once you make that decision, an assessment would have to be done to make sure that you qualify. Again, we want to see that you can transfer independently. Can you meet a pathway to safety? Is there any cognitive impairment, incontinence concerns, etc.? Thank you everyone for listening. I hope you enjoyed the information and I look forward to meeting you whenever you're ready. Hi, my name is Stacy Zerban and I am the administrator for the Village Care Center. The Village Care Center is 144 skilled nursing beds on between three floors. The first floor is dedicated to short-term rehab the second floor is dedicated to memory care, and the third floor is dedicated to traditional long-term care services. Many people ask me, what is the Village Care Center? The Village Care Center is a CMS five-star facility, including a five-star in quality. We have preferred partnerships with all the major health systems in the St. Louis area, including Mercy, BJC, SSM, and St. Luke's. We are the first Center of Excellence awarded in the United States for our work with the Interact program. We are becoming a Montessori program provider for our memory care area. A lot of people wonder, how do I get admitted into the Village Care Center? Admissions to the Village Care Center come from the hospital, other SNFs, homes in the community, our independent living, and our assisted living. Residents under skilled care come to the Village Care Center after an acute illness in which they are covered by their insurance. Our long-term care residents are in the VCC because they are not able to return or remain in their home due to physical or mental capabilities. Our clinical liaisons will help transition you to the VCC. Residents being admitted from our independent living or assisted living require a history and physical from their primary physician signed and dated within 30 days of that admission and a current list of medications. What insurance plans are accepted at the VCC? We accept traditional Medicare, Aetna, Essence, United Healthcare, and Humana. What is included in a life care contract? A life care contract includes a room that includes cable, television, and a telephone, general nursing care, medication distribution, assistance with their activities of daily living, housekeeping, activities, and an additional one meal per day. A lot of people ask, what do our rooms look like in the Village Care Center? Our brand new building includes fully furnished private rooms individual closets, a private restroom with a private bath, and an electric bed. The VCC also offers different therapy options. Select Rehabilitation is Friendship Village's therapy provider. They provide skilled therapy, Part B therapy, outpatient therapy, and maintenance therapy. A lot of people wonder, how do I get my medications? 
United Scripts is utilized for the majority of our residents, including our post-acute residents. United Scripts delivers to our campus twice during a business day. United Scripts accepts your Pharmacy D plan and they will bill you directly. Medications must be bubble packed. This is a federal requirement and not a Friendship Village rule. If you're wondering who your physician will be, the VCC has a list of physicians that follow care in the care center. Physicians are on staff from Mercy, St. Luke's, St. Clair, and Missouri Baptist. Dr. Brosh is the VCC medical director. She is a Mercy physician and will follow patients from all Mercy locations. You can keep your personal physician, however, they must be credentialed. You must be seen by the physician every 30 days for the first 90 days you're at the VCC, and then every 60 days thereafter. Your physician can visit you at the care center, or you must go out to see him or her in their office. If you are being skilled under your insurance, the frequency of your physician visit must be weekly. A lot of people ask, do we have memory care? We have a 48-bed memory care floor utilizing the Montessori Lifestyle Program. Dedicated to residents who need special care, either to handle behaviors related to their dementia, wandering, or they could benefit from the Montessori Lifestyle Program. This floor contains a dining kitchen area and also an activity area. Music and Memories program is also available on this floor. You may be wondering how to use your long-term care insurance at the Village Care Center. Most plans have a 30, 60, or 90 day requirement before you are eligible to utilize your long-term care insurance. Bring your coverage letter either to accounting or social services to initiate coverage for you in the care center. You will, be con you will continue to pay your monthly service fee and the long-term care insurance will reimburse you directly. We will assist with paperwork required for your claim submission. Thank you so much for allowing me to tell you a little bit more about the Village Care Center. If you have any questions, just call Friendship Village's main line and ask for Stacy Zerbin. I'd be glad to help you anytime you need it. I hope you found this information helpful. Please feel free to reach out to any of the presenters if you have any questions at all. Our contact information is listed here. I wish you well, God bless you, and take care.